Hello all, welcome to the Signal Sign System Lecture. In this video, we will talk about causal and non-causal signals. Since it is also one of the classifications, we will see about causal and non-causal signal. A signal is said to be causal if x of t is equal to 0 for t less than 0 and it presents some f of t for t greater than 0. That is, if signal doesn't exist for t less than equal to 0, then it is called causal signal. Example for non causal signal is this is the example of non causal signal because if we consider x axis as time period and this is 0 it exists for minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 so this is the causal and this is an example of non causal signal if you want to make any signal as causal just multiply it by u of t. Coming to the systems, we have talked about it earlier that a system is any physical entity which receives input, processes the input and gives a definite output. Since we, we have classified signals into various types like uh, causal and non-causal, periodic and non-periodic, energy and power signals. In the same manner, uh, here we will classify systems into various types. I will write it here. Classy VK of system. The first classification is linear and non-linear systems we will study in great deal about linear systems in future because every system we model we model it as linear because uh, it will be easier to calculate coming to the linear systems a system is said to be linear if it follows the superposition theorem superposition theorem the superposition theorem states that if x1 of t yields y1 of t and x2 of t signal yields y2 of t then ax1 of t plus bx2 of t is ay1 of t plus by 2 of t where where a and b are scaling factors so if any signal, uh, if any system follows the superposition theorem, then the system is called a linear system. Let's see the next classification that is called time invariant system. For example, consider a system. You give a certain input at morning 10 a.m. You give a certain input, say 600 hertz, and this is our system, and it yields output 800 hertz. This is just for an example. If at 12 p.m. you give a same input to the system. 
and the output which it yields is 800 hertz then the system is called time invariant system so the definition of time invariant system is the response depends depends on shape of the input and not on the time such systems are called time invariant systems the system example the time variant system depends on the time so for time variant systems if you apply the same signal at 600 hertz then the output may around 50 because it depends on time so this is our time invariant system the next classification is causal and non-causal systems. Causal and non-causal systems. The definition of causal system is a causal system is one whose present response doesn't depend on the future values of input. Suppose this is a system and say input is x of t and output is y of t if y of t doesn't depend on x of t plus 1 then the system is causal we have said that a system is said to be causal if the response y of t doesn't depend on the future values of input. So then what is non-causal system? Non-causal system. So the name itself states that a non-causal system is one whose response, this is the response, whose response y of t it depends on future values of input. For example, The signal is x of t square. Y of t. This is x of t. If y of t is x of t square, then the system is called non causal system because the present value of input, the response at the present time depends on the future value of input. 